purpose of this video is to demonstrate the process for radiance calibrating in Avanta's Avispec fiber, fiber optic spectrometer. To complete such a calibration, we need a computer uh, with uh, Avisoft software installed on it, an, an Avispec spectrometer uh, that's uh, configured with our Avisoft full as well as Avisoft Irad irradiance module, and then a calibrated light source. Uh, you have a variety of different options. This happens to be the Avalite HalCal, which is a tungsten halogen source capable of calibrations from 360 nanometers out to 2.5 microns. This particular configuration is designed for a bare fiber calibration or a fiber calibration uh, with a cosine corrector termination on the end of the fiber. Um, another uh, piece required for this calibration is a calibration disc and that can actually be seen in the next slide here. Um, this is a typical uh, configuration uh, for calibration uh, with an integrating sphere terminated uh, fiber. So uh, this happens to be the Avasphere uh, 50 and so this is the uh, spectrometer and the Avalite HAL Cal ISP standing for integrating sphere. It's very important that the integrating sphere port is butted up against the uh, Av Avalite HAL Cal. We do also offer calibrated light sources uh, that can reach down into the UV down to 200 nanometers uh, that are also NIST traceable. So now we're ready to move into the um, software once we get all these uh, hardware components set up. Uh, we'll click uh, start on Avisoft and uh, initially we'll notice that we're uh, saturated so we're going to use the auto integration time uh, configure button to uh, run an algorithm and reset the integration time so uh, we've just done that um, we'll go ahead and uh, take a dark reference so we'd like to go ahead and turn off the light source take a dark and uh, make sure we go to setup subtract save dark now we're prepared to begin the calibration um, fully so we're going to go to application absolute irradiance measurements uh, we're going to uh, this has a, an irradiance calibration already on it but we're going to go to perform intensity calibration to perform a new intensity calibration and um, now uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, select the type of calibration we're doing, uh, the spectrometer channel. Uh, that's just whatever spectrometer is connected. Uh, we'll be uh, selecting the calibration lamp. So uh, we need to uh, select the uh, correct location for the lamp. That happens to be already set. Uh, it's on a CD that's lo loaded in the, in the computer. It's the D drive. The calibration lamp file is uh, terminated with uh, .lmp, so that makes it easy to remember. Go ahead and click open. Then we need to set uh, whether we're using uh, a fiber or a sphere or a cosine corrector, the correct sample port diameter. The cosine corrector is 3900 microns. Fiber would be whatever the fiber core is, 200, 400, 600 micron fiber. And in the case of the Avisphere, that depends on the sphere dimensions and what the port is. Uh, this happens to be a, an Avisphere 50, uh, and so we're going to use the 10,000 micron port size. So we can go ahead and start calibration. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is take a reference. So we've taken a reference. And we are going to go ahead and take another dark. That's needed for the calibration. So we'll turn the light source off again, wait till the spectral counts drop to zero, and click the dark square. And hit OK. So now we need to turn the light source back on. And uh, we're basically done. We're ready to save the calibration. So uh, typically, uh, we're going to save this um, uh, to a... Um, to the EEPROM of the uh, spectrometer. It is possible to save it to a file as well. And uh, we want to make sure that we're correctly selecting. We've uh, used a diffuser, in this case an integrating sphere. So all the parameters look correct. So we'll go ahead and click Save to EEPROM. And now the radiance calibration has been stored successfully. So now we can close out of this window and um, click OK in this window down here at the bottom and uh, we're ready to move into irradiance mode where we can see uh, our typical Planckian curve and the intensity uh, in microwatts per centimeter squared so we're measuring uh, the tungsten halogen source irradiance now it is also possible to move into the application absolute irradiance measurement module now and uh, look at our irradiance chart and uh, click OK at the bottom and you can move into a uh, 
a window that uh, has kind of a dashboard of all the different uh, parameters for radiance. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you.